I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Form BX257, here to bring you another vintage G.I. Joe toy review. And today I have the 1985 Mini Tank Armadillo. Now, as you probably know, the Armadillo isn't that great of a toy. Uh, it retailed for about five or six dollars back in the day, and it shared uh, shelf space with the Cobra Ferret and the Silver Mirage, which I've already reviewed. Now, the, the, these two are fairly complex vehicles, and they're quite frankly rather sought after because of that. However, what the Armadillo lacks in its um, complexity, it more than makes up for it in its size. So it's um, it's quite quite substantial for you know being in the same price range, even though you know, comparably it doesn't have as much uh, uh, stuff going on for it. However, Hasbro has remade it a couple of times uh, and has added to it like uh, removable engine covers or or extra armaments. And here we have the original mini tank, the Armadillo. Unfortunately, this toy doesn't have really much going for it. It has a turret which swivels, but it won't swivel all the way around because it uh, has this big kind of angled sloping part here. And of course, the it would hit the bar at the back here. The cannons, all four of them, are in sync and go up and down. It also has a rather large hole for the driver. That means the figure uh, figure being put in here could wear a backpack and uh, not look too awkward. Of course, without the backpack, you could put the figure very deeply inside here, which is kind of what you want in a tank. At the back, we have the roll bar to protect the two figures, which would be here and here. And, of course, we have rolling wheels on the fake treads. One uh, unfortunately uh, unfortunate missed opportunity on Hasbro's design part is that this does not have a tow hook. I would have assumed that a vehicle such as this would uh, be used for towing, but uh, I guess not. Now before I sign off, I'd like to bring to attention a, a comment made on the yojo.com forums, the subject uh, thread being, what toy feature have you recently figured out? And this, uh, this comment is actually what inspired this review because even though I do take uh, certain vehicles which aren't, aren't a request or something that I wouldn't have normally thought about doing, um, just, you know, just something that's quite frankly kind of random and I thought it would be kind of, kind of fun to do. Here, Anti-Cybertron wrote, and I'll have to paraphrase this, he didn't have the Top Gun for a 1983 APC and used an Armadillo turret instead. I thought, you know what, I've got to try that out to see what that looks like. Now, the turret is fairly easy to get off. You just turn it to the side like so and pull it off straight. It doesn't really click in quite that, um, quite that securely, actually. And here I have an APC and just plop it right into the open hole and well it doesn't really it doesn't really you know fit in very well it's actually very loose it doesn't look too bad either it also means that you can have a figure sticking uh, their head sticking out uh, fairly uh, fairly out of the hole there and that's something that you couldn't do with the original gun certainly I even go so far as to uh, recommend that the Panther version, I believe, was a beige, beige kind of a color, and that probably would go uh, quite a bit better with the uh, beige and camouflage top here.
Well, that's all the time I have right now. Please check out my Facebook page for more information and behind the scenes photos for these reviews. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for next time to see another 1980s G.I. Joe tour review. See you then.